This video is designed to give you some pointers on working with demographic census data. It is technically recorded for GIS 312 Lab 4. However, it can be used to work with demographic data. In this case, we're using demographic data about children and also the data has come in in blocks. We specified we wanted block data. First, to take a look at the data that we're working with, this is demographic census block children data. This zip file was extracted to a readme text file, a smaller text file, a metadata, and then a with ann.csv. More than likely, the last one, the largest one, is the one we're looking for because that's the biggest one and it has the data that we're looking for. The metadata allows us to pick what field headers we need. They come in very cryptic codes. The metadata will give us the proper codes to find the data that we're looking for. Working with CSV data, it is best to not just double click on them. It's best to open a book, workbook in Microsoft Excel, which I have done, and then from that point, you're usually on home. Simply click on data and from text because this is text data. You then navigate to your data. I'm in my lab four. I know I put it in my raw data and I actually put it in a separate folder so that it's much easier to find. And here is my data. I click on the with an CSV, which stands for annotation, and click import. In this dialog box, the first step is to choose delimited. From there, I click next and then select comma. I will take away the tab because there are no tabs. So that notice how the comma separates the data for us. From there, click next. The very one of the most important steps is to click on the general column, which is GOID2. And that tells us that, first of all, general is the type of the data, the format. And GOID2 actually needs to be formatted as text. I highlight it and click text to change it to text. We'll need this field when joining to the shapes. From here, I click finish and it asks where I want to put the data since I was clicked in A1 that's where it goes that is where it should go the existing worksheet so I click OK and the data is added to my Excel workbook once the data is in the document I'll go back to file save as locate the folder where I want to put it And this time, I think I'm going to put it in my data because it's a very small file. In my data L4, I'm going to name it Pierce Block Demographics and click Save. We're now going to manipulate the data so it's much easier to use in ArcGIS. We're going to add some fields and also modify some other fields. The first thing we're going to do is lose the GOID. I highlight using A and then I just press Alt E D and it disappears. We are also going to delete Geo Display dash label, Alt E D, and that disappears. I'm going to rename Geo ID two to I D two. From here, I'm going to insert the three desired fields by clicking on this B, insert, clicking on C, insert, and clicking on D, insert, and then label them. Total male kids, total female 
kids total kids now I need to write a formula to populate these fields based on this data the goal is to come up with a total number of a male kids that are aged 10 and under the total female kids that are aged 10 and under and then a total field which includes the total kids we're going to use the metadata document to help us figure out which of these codes are correct for adding up our total number of kids for the blocks that we've chosen to do so I'm going to open another document file open this one since I'm not using the data in terms of bringing it into arc I'm going to just go to the raw data find my gem demographic block children change this to all files and then open up the metadata in the metadata it's important that I find for example D3 because that's male under one year all the way down to male 10 years those are the items that I'll use for males as far as female I'll use the same ones but for female to create my formula so that was D024 to D034 and then for males D003 down to D13 now that I know what fields to use I make a written note rather than a mental note and then go back to the other for the total male kids I want a sum that equals 0, 3 through 13 and close for and you could do that any way you want you can do a hand formula whatever you choose I'm just doing it the way that I have done it and this one just make sure that I have the right numbers and then I'm going to do a sum enter I'll now copy these formulas all the way down what you may be wondering is why the formula didn't add these for me and likely the reason is column A was a text field and the first field that I put in next to it probably became a text field to fix that I'm gonna right click on the header format cells do number and go back to zero decimal places and then hit enter and it still doesn't work let me highlight these cells format cells number zero okay that's what it takes just need to hit enter after each of them so that they quote unquote take now I need to go to the bottom I'm going to try using some commands to get to the bottom the keystroke to do that I've just determined pull it back up to the top you highlight the cells shift is shift control and or shift control down arrow excuse me and then from there control D now I've got my totals the next thing I'm going to do is insert another column and I'm going to immediately learning my lesson changing that to number 
with zero decimal places and saying OK. And then insert one next to it and insert another. From here, I'm going to highlight E, F, and G and press Control C for copy. I'll go back to B, C, and D, go to Paste, and Paste Values, one of these. I'll just choose this one. And now, if I click in the cell, I get a zero. Whereas over here, I have the formula. Once I paste the values, I can delete the rest of the document or the rest of the columns, Alt E D. And now I have on my sheet one the information that I'm looking for, not formulas. And I have male kids, female kids, total kids. I'm going to rename this sheet. You can't see me find the rename, but I just hit the rename. Now I'm renaming it. Use me. That's what I usually use so that I know it's good. And just close or click on something to get out of it. That'll just help me remember to use sheet one, which is now named use me. I can then save the data. In this case, I'm going to save as my window pops up. Make sure it goes to my data Pierce block demographics and click save. It already exists. Yes, I want to replace it. You may want to change it to the older format, which is 97 to 2003 format, so that you have another opportunity to try. I'm going to just say Pierce Block Demographics Old for the old version and save just so I have it. External data, clear the data. I'm going to say no. I think I had a, that was a weird error. I think I saved it as a template by accident. Yes, I don't want a template. I just want a workbook. Good catch. Save. And now I have two versions. But that is how I prepare my census demographic data. I am now done with this Excel. I'm going to close it. I'm done with the metadata. I'm going to close that and now go back to ArcMap. I will now import this table into my geo database so that it can be more seamlessly integrated with other geo processing options. I'm going to right click on my geo database, import table single. You can just barely see that. Maybe Scroll this way so you can actually see the whole process. Import table single. Hopefully you can see. Well, there we go. Import table single. I get this dialog. Let me scroll this back to the right size so I don't forget. The input row will be in my it's not in my map so it's not going to be there. I need to go to my data folder for lab 4. I'm going to try the XLSX file instead of the old version. Remember I suggested saving both an older version and a new version. I'm going to say add. I'm going to choose the use me table. Say add and the output table will be called Pierce block demographics. I do not need any expression. I'm just going to say OK. Let me just double check the output location. It is the Lab 4 Geo Database. Oops. Lab 40 Geo Geo Database add. Now it's Pierce Block Demographics. I'll say OK. This should run very quickly. It's a tiny table and it's three seconds. I click close and notice how it is added to my map. We've successfully manipulated our census demographic data so that it can be integrated in the Geo Database and we are ready to move on to the join.
that will be perhaps in another video or it may be self-explanatory.